It's part of American history. A famous 121 year old New Mexico Harvey Hotel is opening its doors to guests once again. News 13's Rebecca Atkins takes you inside the La Castaneda Hotel in Las Vegas. So it's like a little time machine. Since 1898, the Grand La Castaneda Hotel has stood out in Las Vegas, New Mexico. So there were originally 40 some guest rooms, but now there's only going to be 20. The Harvey Hotel, built by famous entrepreneur Fred Harvey, sat vacant for 70 years. New Mexico is like the epicenter of Fred Harvey world. So Harvey ran all the hotels and restaurants for the Santa Fe Railway. He was the first national hotel chain. Once bustling with the well-known Harvey girls, it's now full of workers. <laughs> Alan Affel and his wife purchased the property in 2014. They have been restoring the Victorian building since last year. This room, of course, is the owl. And at night, that lights up, and it's just so mysterious and beautiful. So far, a handful of the rooms are done. Each centers around a different New Mexico animal. Thirteen rooms are ready to be booked before the hotel completely opens in June. So this would have been a bedroom? It's a place where guests will find a treasure trove of antiques. It actually was made in the 1890s as a sofa bed. Today, the bar opened its doors for the first time. That's an original mural that was covered under many layers of plaster. Nobody even knew it was there. La Castañeda was the first Harvey hotel and restaurant built along train tracks. It was like a quick service space for people to come in and grab a bite and get back on the train. Sean Sinclair owns and operates Bar Castañeda along with the restaurant, which will open in June. We're featuring uh, a new take on Fred Harvey cuisine. And with more than five million dollars put into the restoration efforts, Affelt says it's a labor of love. And it's only by saving these things that people learn that history. And if you don't know the history, then these things will be lost. Rebecca Atkins, KRQE, News 13. Main Street de Las Vegas has also been working hard to revitalize the town. Another big project being worked on is the E. Romero House, Hose and Firehouse, which dates back to 1882. For years, the city has been working to turn that building on Bridge Street into a museum. Among the features, a 1937 Seagrave fire truck as well as a hose cart.